Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pony by Fig here, and here with the deck profile of my Gusto Plants. So I've been recently playing with this deck, and um, I'm loving it. This deck is really fun, and it's and it's really fits my playstyle, I guess. Um, personally, I this is like the deck to go to right now. Um, like on uh, Dev Pro or on Dueling Network, um, I'm I'm playing this deck. Uh, so, um, anyways, uh, let's just get on with the deck list, and um, ex I'll explain some of the choices that I make uh, afterwards. So, we run one Dandelion, uh, one Lone Fire Blossom, one Spore, two Cams, two Windows, uh, three Gusto Eagle, uh, three Gusto Griffin, three Gusto Goldo. Um, Three Tempest, two Debris, uh, one Creature Swap, uh, two DDRs, one Dark Hole, one Foolish Burial, two Forbidden Lances, one Gold Sark, uh, two MSTs, three Pot of Dualities, one Bottomless Trap Hole, uh, one Compulsory, uh, two Fiendish Chains, one Mirror Force, and one Solemn Warning. And for the extra deck, we have one Cataster, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Black Rose Dragon, one Crimson Blader, one Degusto Goldos, one Dragoon Unite Gidearge, uh, Mistberg Colossalus, one Orient Dragon, one Scrap Dragon, Star Eater, Stardust Dragon, um, Lightning Shidori, Maestro, Drago Sack, and Big Eye. And for the side deck, um, it's not really a I guess it's a side deck that deals with one problem only. So, um, we have one Consecrated Lights, uh, two Effect Veilers, uh, two Maxis, one MST, uh, two Soul Takers, two XYZ Encore, one Malevolent Catastrophe, two Royal Decrees, and two Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors. Um, so what this side deck is mainly, um, the the purpose of the side deck really is to deal with um, Ophion, deal with uh, Crimson Bladers, and to deal with Archlord Christias. Um, so those three cards that I mentioned really shut down this deck. Um, Ophion and Crimson Blader maybe not so much, but definitely um, Archlord Christia. So um, to deal with them, I do have uh, two Soul Takers. Um, I have two XYZ Encores for like Ophion. Um, Evil Swarm matchup, I have Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors and um, the Consecrated Light. So um, this deck is really, really um, heavily cited for that Ophion. Really, um, can I sp can I emphasize really enough? Uh, so. Yeah, that's one of the things that really hurt this deck. Um, another thing is Insectors. Um, when they constantly start popping stuff, it doesn't get my uh, effects off. So, um, though that's why Shadow Imprisoning Mirror is a really good card uh, for the side deck. Um, but um, yeah, enough the side deck. Uh, to, to the main deck, um, the Plant Engine. Uh, really nice. Uh, works hand in hand with like uh, the Dragon Roller engine, as probably everyone knows. Um, the the Dragon Roller plants is uh, I it, it topped uh, YCS Toronto, but it wasn't really a plant engine. But you know, it, it still topped. And um, yeah, like I said, it works hand in hand. Um, the Breeze Dragon now has a card for a one turn black rose um because before we did have lightning but now that now that uh lightning's banished um i mean not banished banned uh <laughs> sent to the shadow realms if you may but um now now that it's banned um uh dandelion kind of replaces that purpose of a one turn one card black rose really and plus the two free tokens uh, perfect for synchro plays. Um, Lone Fire is there just to you know get to Dandy or uh, Spore faster, and um, 
Yeah, that's, the, that's like the plant engine. Uh, helps this deck out a lot, and it doesn't hurt this deck too much. Even though there's like uh, three cards, um, that that should clog it, but it's not. Uh, so um, we do run the. Of course, we have to run the recruiter loop. That's that's the gusto engine right there. Um, so. We do run three of the Eagles, three of the Goldos, but not three of the uh, Windows. So um, I only run two Windows because the Recruiters clog up my hand. Um, and plus Windows like the worst one out of the three. Um, by all means, Windows is great and all, but uh, it's like the worst one because um, it's not one of the viable targets for creature swaps. So um, Windows just... Uh, I guess like a bridge for the other two. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, that window it could get recycled anyway with Cam. So um, two is like a perfect number for it, and um, you abuse these other two for uh, synchro plays or just uh, just uh, th them dying by battle. Um, so that's like the recruiter loop there. Um, Gusto Griffin. Uh, it just works hand in hand with like the Dragon Ruler. Huh. As you can see, the Dragon Ruler engine is pretty important in this deck. Um, so Gusto Griffin uh, allows me to special summon any Gusto monster from my deck. So um, it doesn't miss timing with uh, Tempest, the discarding effect to add another dragon. So uh, Griffin is a really nice card. Uh, for these gustos and um, Tempest helps me search out other tempests or um, a debris dragon and the breeze dragon Like I said before is a one turn black rose now and plus it's still a level 4 wind Which means um, it opens up XC plays for uh, lightning Chidori and lightning Chidori is a really good card it just overlay cam and uh, debris and Bam, there you go. It's not too hard to get out. Um, so I do run three powder dualities um, just for consistency, and plus uh, I do play two windows. So I kind of replace the window with a pot of duality because um, pot just helps me get to my combo pieces faster. And plus, I could just set a recruiter, uh, activate pot, and um, pass my turn off because the recruiter loop is. A pretty s safe defensive option, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that, that's why Pot is there. Um, DDR. Uh, some there have been some builds where Dragon Rulers are running this, and um, I was actually running this, uh, or I was actually testing this once I knew um, Lightning got banned, and it basically does what lightning did except um instead of just only grabbing tempest i could grab uh any of my other banished cards that i do get after um special summoning with tempest effect so uh i could banish like an eagle or and then uh special summon it with a uh, ddr so that gives me a level 8 synchro play right there and um it works really well with griffin as well so, um, that discard effect, discard the griffin, uh, grab something from the banner zone, and, um, basically not even minus too much. Um, so, DDR, really nice card. Uh, Foolish Burial, I did add this in. Um, I added this in for two purposes. Uh, two purposes. Uh, one is to get to my dandelion or spore faster. And two um, is to get to my Tempest faster, cause there are times um, where Tempest is I I just can't get into it. Um, like five turns later, I, I still don't have Tempest. So uh, Foolish Burial just helps with me um, dumping a Tempest into the grave in order for me to you know uh, special summon Tempest and go off from there. Um, so that's the main deck. Um, for the extra deck, I guess, uh, I could talk about, um, Misper Colossalus. Uh, this card is 
really good. Um, it deals with that Ophion, uh, that I, that I keep saying is a pretty hard card to deal with with this deck. So, um, it's not too hard to really get out, um, because we do have Dandelion now, and, um, Dandelion special summons two fluff tokens, uh, that are both level one, so I could just synchro with, uh, eagle or maybe spore so um that's one way of getting it out um maybe i do have a window on uh the field and i have a uh, eagle on my hand or a spore uh i could synchro into uh misper colossalist that way so this card really helps with that and um i run orient dragon here because it's a wind dragon and plus it's a level six because sometimes i find myself in a awkward situation late game where I only have like um, the breeze and maybe two fluff tokens or a window so if I summon the debris it I could go into orient dragon and um, go in for like 23 attack late game so um, so uh, yeah it's a really nice card disrupt synchro plays and um, last card I'm gonna talk about is a uh, star eater um, Star Eater is basically like the Gaga -ga Cowboy in this deck, uh, cause you usually summon Gaga -ga Cowboy late game, right? So, um, if you summon this card late game, it's really instant win. Um, it's Synchro Summon can't be negated, plus, uh, during the battle step, it's unaffected by other card effects if it attacks. So, um, D prison doesn't work, mirror force doesn't work, uh, compulsory, all that stuff doesn't work. Um, so it's really good late game. Only thing that could stop it is like a, a dark hole, I guess. Uh, so I mean, there's other cards like maybe they could drop BLS and whatnot, but I'm just thinking like they're top decking and all that. So yeah, I guess a BLS could work. But, um, yeah, this is the deck profile. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Gary GZ Duels, hope you feel better soon. Uh, I hope you get your voice back. And, um, yeah, this is Pony Buffig, and I'm out. Peace.